Hey everyone, how is it going? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up guys? I'm Amy, if you're returning, welcome back. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I'm uploading new videos like this one. So we're gonna dive in and see what your person wants to see to you, whoever's on your mind, who's ever in your energy field. I have no idea what's going on with the, the stream yard. Um, but hopefully this video makes sense. Hopefully you guys can hear me pretty sure it can, but yes. So welcome in everyone. Thank you so much for popping in. If this video finds you, there's clearly a message in here for you. All right. So what is this person wanting to see to you? So there's a lot of songs that are reminding this person of you. There could be very specific songs that are actually standing out. I don't know if the U2 had a specific song or if it's just like they're hearing music or they're listening to songs and it's like a certain song may tug at them, a certain song may make them think about you. That sort of stuff is really coming through. So yeah, music is definitely something significant that ties you guys together. They're also very sorry for breaking your heart. So I do feel like you have a bit of... Um, something something happened with this person where it's like they are taking accountability or coming through and saying like I know I hurt you and I know I can't go back and and change that or fix that but I feel like there's an apology coming from this person where it's like they want to speak to you about you know I should have never hurt you but I know that I did and even though I can't go back and fix that, I do want to continue to move forward and try to reconcile. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. And then I've got, they don't make me feel like you do. So, I mean, for some of you, your person could be with a third party. They could be with another person. But what I'm getting is that whatever is going on in that connection, this person is not getting what they are getting from you. So, I mean, take that however you resonates. You know, take that as this might be the turning point in the connection between you and this person. But if they are with someone else, it, it's like the feeling of them not wanting to be there. Okay, so hit that like button, guys. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't to our wonderful soul family here. And um, yeah, let's just dive in deeper. What else does this person want to say to the collective today, please? What else does this person want to say to the collective today? What else does the person want to say? There's more to this you are not seeing behind the scenes and everything happens for a reason. So like this person's literally saying, I know that you think you know what's going on. I know that you think you know certain things, but it's like you really don't. You know, there's a lot going on right now that you're not seeing with this person. I don't necessarily even feel like that's a bad thing. I would tell you guys, you guys know, I'll tell you the tea. But I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it as whatever's going on with him is a bad thing. I feel like they may be transitioning. They may be going through certain things. And maybe it's just not the right time for them to come forward and speak to you about it. But um, they are saying, like, I know that everything happens for a reason. So I know that there's reasons why we're going through what we're going through. This person has bought you a gift or is going to buy you a gift. And it's going to be unexpected. You're not expecting this gift from this person. But they know they want to buy you something or they have already bought you something. There was a lot of hate. A lot of people don't want to see with this person. A lot of people are very jealous of the connection with you and this person. I want you so bad. So this person craves you. This person wants you. This person has like some type of sexual desire for you or sexual urge for you. They like having sex with you. They, they like being in your energy. They like being with you. Music makes me think of you. So yeah, music is definitely something significant with you too, where it's like when they hear a certain song, when there, when there's a song that's playing, it initially makes them think about you. Sorry guys. My bad. Sorry. All right. I will be reaching out in the next 24 hours to talk and express. So in the next couple days here, I feel like whoever this person is for you, they want to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. They want to share with you what it is that they need to share with you. They want to express themselves. 
You know, th this person wants to get some things off their chest with you. I'm lonely without you thinking hardcore in my head. Like this person, they could be of a distance from you, but it's like they do think about you a lot. You're always in this person's mind. I was wrong. Doubts and overthinking. So they know that they were wrong to do what they did. They know, but I feel like they were overthinking the situation or they were just overthinking in general. They had a lot of doubts about if this could work out again or, you know, maybe they were doubting about how they felt. But I want some more of you craving sexual thoughts. So, yeah, like this person, you know, when it comes to this connection with you and this person, I don't think that the sex was the issue. Like, I, I don't get that at all. I think it comes down to, like, communication. I think it comes down to a bunch of other things. But I don't believe, like, the actual sex part was the issue. Because this person thinks about you a lot sexually. I don't know how you put it down with this person. I don't know how you made this person feel in the bedroom. I don't know if it's just, you know, how you do what you do. But this person is realizing that even if they are with someone else, like, it doesn't match. You know, this person has such a, like, a sexual chemistry with you, a sexual connection. Not saying, like, that's all it is, but it just feels like what they have for you, with you in the sex department is not what they have with other people. You know, so maybe that's why they keep gravitating back towards you. I miss talking to you. I do feel like they miss genuinely talking to you. Like, they, they genuinely miss having you in their life, being able to like open up to you, being able to talk to you, being able to discuss things with you, you know, they miss being able to just call you up and like, make sure you're good. I had to lose you to realize another's hands on you. I can't deal your mind. It's like this actually bugs this person. If I'm being honest with you, like I feel a sense of being bothered by this. Like, when I'm sitting and I'm thinking about you being with someone else, like I feel bothered by that because I feel like you're mine and I don't want anyone else to have you. I don't want anyone else to have your body or have my hands on your body. You know, I feel like this person's like in this energy of wanting to claim you, but just not sure of like how to say it in those words. Right. But it's like they, they had to get that sense of feeling of you being wanted by other people, of you being you know, desired by other people. Will you marry me? Proposal soon, six months. This person has already thought about marriage with you. They already thought about what it would be like to be married to you, build a house with you, have a family with you. This person could already bought a ring. You know, there could be a proposal coming six months now. If we're looking at six months from now, we're what, June now? July, August, September, October, November. By December, by next year, you could be proposed to this person. I'm happy for you. For some of you, this person generally does want happiness for you. Freaky, there's something about you and this person and sex. They like the fact that you're freaky. They like the fact that you'll use toys and food and handcuffs and just like you're very open to just like exploring new things. And like, you know, I don't know. I get a sense that to a certain extent, you allow this person to do a lot to you. So I feel like that's also what's kind of going through their mind right now. But unexpected text message or call out of the blue. You won't see this coming. I feel like you may have thought, oh, you know, this person doesn't miss me. They're not thinking about me. They don't want me. But I feel like you're going to hear from this person. And I feel like it's going to be unexpected. It's going to be like, you know, oh, you know, you're alive. So, yeah, I mean, this person really does think about you. They know at the end of the day, like, you are the one. This is why they can't walk away from you. This is why they can't let go. I don't know why I did what I did, but I'm in my head. So, like, they are going through this up and down energy of, like, needing to let the past go. In order for you to move forward with this person and have the connection that you both want, I feel like both of you need to let the past go. Both of you need to let the past hurt, the past pain. You know, you need to start fresh. You are the light keeping me going. I need you more than I let on. Yeah. I mean, for some of you, not only are you going to get a proposal, but it feels like before even that proposal happens, they will ask you to be their girlfriend or boyfriend again. There is going to be a chance for you guys to rekindle this connection, to, to be dating again. I can't help the way that I feel. Like, they, they don't know why they feel the way that they feel. And they do still love you, and they question if you still love them, for some of you. So... 
if that makes sense, guys, if that sounds like your story, if that sounds like this message resonates with you, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And I will chit chat with you guys soon.